Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked the video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the FAIR Act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it, okay? Um, word on the street, y'all, they have just passed a bill. The House passes a defense bill automatically registering men in between 18 to 26 years old for the draft. So, they are forcing mandatory forcing people to go and you know fight for the country okay y'all this is word on street now okay the selective service is already mandatory for male u.s citizens age 18 to 24. now back in the days i don't know if this still stands right now but back in the days y'all they wouldn't you know draft you know, your son, you know, if you have more than one son, then they will draft one of your sons, but they would not draft your child. If you only have one son, this is used to be what was going on way, 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 way back in the days. Now y'all know politician stuff didn't change since, you know, the beginning. Okay. And I don't know if that still flies. I don't really know anymore. Y'all let me know in the comment section if it does, but I am going to say this y'all. Um, this is crazy. This is crazy on so many levels. The fact that you have let all these people into the country. Okay, y'all. And this is, there are countries that they want our citizens to go and, you know, defend. Y'all. They want us to go and defend their countries instead of sending them back or training them to go defend their own country so they can take their tail back home. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. Okay, I'm not trying to be funny, but we have nowhere to put all these people. Okay, we don't. And for to have a whole bunch of homeless people here now, and now they're planning on putting more out in the streets so the crime could go up even more. I don't know if y'all heard about what happened on Father's Day weekend, this past weekend, has been ridiculous, y'all, in Chicago. Over 70 people was hit up on Father's Day weekend. Okay, y'all, they have lost their minds. Okay? And if you're going to pass laws like this, why don't you pass some more laws that, you know, will get the crime, get control over this crime again? Why don't you pass some more laws for that? Why don't you pass a law that anybody that gets caught with these twitches and switches, whatever you want to call them, okay? They give mandatory life in prison. That'll stop some of the crime right there. Because people ain't going to want to get caught with it, okay, y'all? That will slow a lot of stuff down that's going on out here. But you know what? Every time they get caught, okay, and they're connected to politicians and police officers and this and that and that and mayors and all of this stuff, um... They let them back out. They let them back out. It used to be a time with some, uh, anybody get caught with certain weapons. They would automatically get a, a lot of time for stuff like that. They are letting them out and they are adding this on to their weapons so that it can be just super weapon to take out a lot of people at one time. And they are actually letting them back out on the streets, y'all. This is what they're doing. So, to me, they ain't trying to, you know, uh, fight no crime. They want this to go on. And now you call yourself a passing a law to send somebody else's kids and family members and loved ones to go and um, stand up for the country. Why don't y'all send y'all own people? Y'all got kids, the people that's in office, all of these um, people that call themselves passing the bill, the House of Representatives. Uh, why don't y'all start with y'alls? Because y'all the one that's uh, messing things up. Why don't you start with y'all homes first and then, you know, you know, 
if this is the case, dwindle down to everybody else. Because I got a feeling that this is not going to apply to their people. It's just going to apply to everybody else's. Now, the good thing about this thing that when you go to the army and whatever, whatever, um, you got to be in shape. This is the only, it, it, I ain't trying to, you know, just down people that ain't healthy and this and that and that and this. But the majority of uh, blacks right now, due to the elites and the agenda that they are pushing out here on the streets, they don't really have nothing to worry about because a lot of them is smoking their kneecaps off. So they wouldn't qualify in the first place, to be honest with y'all. They would not qualify. A lot of them that messed up their bodies, badges, you got to be healthy to go to the army. You have to pass certain, you know, things, and they are not going to qualify for that. A lot of them. Okay, y'all? A lot of them are messed up in the head. They can't even think straight because they out here, all of this, they're junk to the keys. Okay, y'all? This is what's going on. Now, it's saying that the House of Representatives passed a measure on a Friday, automatically registering men age 18 to 26 to selective service y'all it was part of the annual national defense authorization act okay in daa which sets out that um the u.s the government's military and national security priorities over the next fiscal year okay y'all so if you are parents and you have more than one son um and they're healthy. It's a possibility that your son could get drafted right now, y'all. Okay? To go and fight for somebody else's country. Okay? Defend. Let me say defend instead of that. Um, Somebody else's country that then ran out their country to come over here. Um, There are a lot of men that has came over here from these other countries. Okay? Due to the fact that you are taking our tax money y'all our tax money to take care of their families why don't you let them y'all why don't you let them go and take care of their families you know by letting them go to the army and uh, you know I'm just saying defend their own countries I'm just saying y'all because this don't make any sense to me, y'all. You take, you let them all come over here and now they are all, they are all over here and now you want to send the people that's from here to go defend their countries. Y'all make it make sense, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all this. Somebody um sent this to me today too. This is another thing that came up in the news today that I wanted to talk about. Um... This is another one, y'all, that I wanted to talk about. And if they come after the president and their Secret Service, y'all, we ain't got a chance in the world. I'm just going to say this right now, okay? Now, rumors are, this was on the news today. That a Secret Service agent was robbed, okay? With a weapon on night of Biden's L.A. gala. This is what they're saying, y'all. Word on street. That if his people are getting robbed out here on the streets. Now, I knew about, to be honest with y'all, I knew about um, a lot of police officers that's been getting robbed. A lot of police officers have been getting robbed in different st cities and states. Not only have a lot of police officers been getting robbed, detectives have been getting robbed. I even heard an FBI agent. I forgot what city and state that that was in, that an FBI agent was robbed at the gas station, y'all. They put a weapon to this man and robbed him. Now they have robbed one of Biden's Secret Service agents, y'all. Um, crime is through the roof, y'all. And it's time for people to do something about it instead of sit back and play these games that they're playing. 
everybody is all over the place and at the same time they're sitting in these offices and they're passing all these laws and these laws don't mean us nothing good my personal opinion okay they said the agent's bag was stolen on saturday night in a residential community in southern california this is what the authorities are saying okay y'all the united states secret service agent was robbed um, at Weapons Point in Southern California over the weekend on the same night that President Joe Biden was in Los Angeles for a re-election fundraiser, the authority said on Monday. Police officers were called to a residential development in Orange County at about 9.36, look at that, 369, y'all, p.m. on Saturday over reports of a possible robbery. The Tustin Police Department said in a statement. Upon arriving at the development, a former military base, the police discovered that the victim was a Secret Service agent whose bag had been stolen at bang, bang, bang point. The statement said during the robbery, an agent fired a weapon, the police added. The suspected robbery occurred on the same night that Mr. Biden was in downtown Los Angeles for a star-studded re-election fundraiser with the former President Barack Obama, okay? Instead of calling yourself trying to, you know, push the issue of being re-elected, why don't you do your, y'all, y'all know I want to cuss, right? Why don't you do your job? That's what people voted you in the office for in the first place. You so concerned about getting reelected that crime is through the roof, y'all. And the only thing that him and Obama is concerned about is, you know, keeping that seat. That's all that matters. 70 people hit up in one weekend, y'all, in Chicago. This is where... Ain't this where Obama is from? I know he's was born somewhere else, but this is where he lived. You would think that they would be more concerned about the crime that's taking place, but that's not their concern, y'all. The food is being pretty much messed up out here. Well, all kind of mess they spraying on it to make it look good. Okay, the crime is through the roof. We got all of these people coming over here that want to harm us. A lot of people that's over here want to harm us that we don't know. And they're still coming in by the boatloads. We are paying for the people that's coming over here by the boatloads through taxes. And the only thing that he's concerned about is getting back in office so he can continue this destruction that's going on right now, y'all. Make it make sense. And at the same time that they are, you know, out here doing their thing, you know, him and Kamala, whatever, whatever you want to call her, um, they are running around trying to get reelected. She is also working with Quavo. Did y'all hear about her, the vice president? You know, she's out here working with Quavo against, you know, violence and stuff like that. You are working with the very man that allegedly, allegedly, allegedly lined up his own nephew. Make it make sense, y'all. Please make that make sense. When you ain't out here, you know, working with somebody that allegedly is lining up their own family members for the brotherhood, okay? You're out here going to a Beyonce concert. Somebody that's running around here putting potions together for for hair products. <laughs> Y'all, what the hell going on, okay? And if you ain't, you know, running around here with satanic um Beyonce's concert tickets, you are... um. What else would she be doing? You know, inviting teenagers to the White House. That's college students, okay? Should be an example for other kids, okay? You are inviting them to the White House and you are putting on nasty red music so that they can listen to how to pop your cootie cat and get the bag from these guys out here, okay? And while you're doing it, don't use no protection, okay? So they can get all kind of packages from the men that they're out here trying to get the the bag from um make it make sense y'all make it make sense because this is what is all that we have to offer to the people okay then we have 
Trump, y'all. We got Trump. They got the mega, okay? And the more and the more and the more that it gets closer to anything to do with Trump, it brings out all the people that hate people of color. They hate minorities, okay? Did y'all hear? Now, I say this all the time in my comment section. I mean, in, you know, when I put my video on, I say it all the time. Be careful. Be careful who you're around. Watch your surroundings. Well, one of Trump's supporters have been, you know, uh, plotting to do stuff to minorities. He planned on taking out a bunch of people at a rap concert, y'all. I don't know if y'all heard about it. Go look it up, y'all. Okay? He planned on taking out people at a rap concert. And he was recruiting other people to go do it with him. But he got caught, y'all. He got caught before he did had a big weapon, y'all. Going to a concert so that he can light up a whole bunch of people that, you know, ain't got enough sense to throw because they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. They're not paying attention to some of these rappers that's, you know, putting this agenda out, you know, that is affecting their children and everything else. It's a sad, sad world that we're living in, but this, it is what it is. And the only thing that Biden and Obama is concerned about is keeping that seat for another four years so they got control over all this money that's being passed around and and believe it or not there are minorities um well not my they are minorities but there are migrants out here right now that's doing interviews with people i i i gotta find the guy's page again this little, little white teenager um, he's not a teenager, he's a young man, but he's running around doing interviews with migrants and acting, asking them about all the help that they're receiving and this and that and that and this and how they like it here so far and this and that and that and this. And the things that some of these migrants are saying will blow your mind because they're saying that a lot of this money that they're saying that they're receiving, they're not really receiving. Okay, y'all? A lot of them is saying that. Like they're helping some people, but they're not helping everybody like they're saying it. Uh, okay. Um, everybody has complaints about what's going on. Everybody. And a lot of stuff that they planned out here in these streets, it's uh, blowing up in their faces right now. Right now, because not only is the citizens that's, you know, they're taking their hard-earned money from. The citizens that they're retired and they're taking their money, their bills is going up and stuff like that. So they can keep up with all of the people that they're bringing over here. Okay, and let them come over here illegally because we don't have a problem with them coming over here. We have a problem with them coming over here not the right way. There was a process to come here. So why did that just, you know, go out the door all of a sudden? Okay, and now it's one, come one, come all, and we the people have to pay for it. This is the problem that we have. Okay, y'all? But yeah, they're out now um, robbing the Secret Service people. Okay, y'all? They said, oh, in there bragging about how much money that Biden made at the campaign. He raised $28 million and this and that and that and this. Um, it was not immediately clear if the Secret Service agent was in California protecting Mr. Biden or Mr. Obama. But the police statement did not identify the agent. The Tucson, Tusta, Tustin Police Department did not immediately respond to requests for clarifications. It is and was unclear of how many suspects were involved or did they wear or if they were injured during the hitting. The statement said, adding that no suspects had been found. So they robbed Secret Service and they got away. The police were able to locate some of the agents' belongings in the area, the stuff that they didn't want, that they probably threw out, okay? And the U.S. Secret Service did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Um... If they're doing this to Secret Service people, y'all, y'all be careful. Be very careful because I told y'all. See, one thing about you doing pushing all of this stuff to minority neighborhoods and this and that and that and this, one thing about that is sooner or later they run out of people to rob and they end up coming right back to the very people that um set this mess up in the first place they start being affected by this because it's only so much you can rob from people in the hood i'm just saying y'all 
a lot of people don't work. They out here hustling their own self. And the ones that are working, you run out of even robbing them. A lot of them decide they just move away from the areas that's getting really, really bad. And um, a lot of them just don't have anything when they running up, jumping, running out on them. They're getting cotton out their pockets, y'all. That's all. Okay, lint. This is what some of it is. And this is why they're, you know, moving to other neighborhoods. So one thing about y'all setting up, you know, the small people to um, get robbed and this and that and that and this, it eventually comes, dwindles back to y'all. That's one thing about that. So instead of doing y'all job, this is one of the, you know, outcomes of what y'all been in office doing in the first place. Not doing anything that you're supposed to be doing. And like I told y'all, these are the choices that we have. Then we have this other guy. Okay, I don't know that y'all see the guy. I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but he was on Tasha K's page. And he is the third choice. Okay? And a lot of people are saying they should go with him. But this guy right here, um, I'm just going to say it. He couldn't even hardly talk when he was on there. That was number one. Number two, he got some type of, you know, something wrong with his brain they said he got some type of bacteria that was eating away at his brain or something like that and at the same time that he has some bacteria that ate away a lot of stuff in his head okay y'all um it just really trips me out that these are the choices that's left you got somebody that had half of their brain cells then got ate up by some type of bacteria, okay? So it, 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 they can blame whatever they do wrong on that, okay? Because they love to lie. I'm just going to be completely honest. They love to lie until they get into that office. And then that's when, um, you know, they get amnesia and forget about everything that they said to get there, okay? So we got this guy, the third guy, that is, like I said, got some type of, um, you know, bad worm in his head or something that eating up his head and stuff okay that's probably you know gonna be the excuse if he get in office um then we got trump who brings out all the people that don't like people of color and all of them they start coming out feeling like oh we we you know it's time to take things back 20 years twenty thousand years ago so you, you know you can have slaves again okay y'all or well, we gonna just get rid of them all together okay um and they're pushing agendas. Never mind that they're not paying attention to all what's going on around them, too. That, that, you know, we all need each other, okay? But at the same time, this is what, you know, Trump supporters, this, you know, this is how they feel, okay? And then we have Biden, who is oldest Methuselah, okay, y'all? And he it can't even stay on his feet. Can't even stay on his feet. And then mess up so much stuff that don't make no sense. Um, these are our choices. These are everybody's choices. Okay. I told y'all what my choice is. I'm, I'm going with God and I'm gonna leave it in his hands. But these are the choices right now. And if y'all think that this bill that they're passing on all the bills that they're passing, because it's a mode that they're passing, they're also including women in this draft as well. Okay, y'all. I don't know if y'all heard, but there are women that's being forced into the army right now too. Do these new bills that they are passing and there's going to be more to come to be honest with y'all so the things that they are doing and the people that they are connecting with and this and that and that, and that out of all the people you know the vice president going to quavo this got he got bodied okay by chris brown somebody that they um didn't uh, blackballed okay um a nobody basically Somebody that started an argument and everybody, you know, it was like a whole setup. Everybody, as soon as the argument starts, he gets away and everybody points their weapons at his nephew, which seemed like it was the setup in the first place. And also the setup was set up so that the, the people that did it can get away with it. And this is who she chose to uh, uh fight crime with um y'all you can't make this stuff up but anyway y'all let me know what you think in the comment section please like share and subscribe if you liked the video and thanks for watching y'all peace